Hello, I'm Jim Solberg, the Bridges for Peace USA National Director. It is again my joy and privilege to share God's word with you today through the program of Oil for the Journey, according to the reading schedule provided by Bridges for Peace and Ignite the Truth. So today we're going to read from Exodus chapters 13, 14, and 15. So let's get right to it. Beginning in chapter 13. The Lord said to Moses, consecrate to me all the firstborn. Whatever is the first to open the womb among the people of Israel, both of man and of beast is mine. And Moses said to the people, remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of the hand of the Lord brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. This day you are to go forth in the month of Abib. And when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give to you, a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen with you, and no leaven shall be seen with you in all your territory. And you shall tell your son on that day, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. And it shall be to you as a sign on your hand, and as a memorial between your eyes, that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. You shall therefore keep this ordinance at its appointed time from year to year. And when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your fathers, and shall give it to you, you shall set apart to the Lord all that first opens the womb. All the firstlings of your cattle that are male shall be the Lord's. Every firstling of an ass you shall redeem with a lamb, or if you will not redeem it, you shall break its neck. Every firstborn of man among your sons you shall redeem. And when it is time to come, your son asks you, what does this mean? You shall say to him, by strength of hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt and from the house of bondage. For when Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of cattle. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all the males that first opened the womb, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be as a mark on your hand or frontlets between your eyes, for by a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest the people repent when they see war and return to Egypt. But God led the people round by the way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea. And the people of Israel went up out of the land of Egypt, equipped for battle. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. For Joseph had solemnly sworn to the people of Israel, saying, God will visit you. Then you must carry my bones with you from here. And they moved on from Sukkot and encamped at Etha on the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might travel by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night did not depart from before the people. Chapter 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel to turn back and encamp in front of Piha Hiroth, between Migdal and the sea, in front of Baal Zephon, and you shall camp over against it by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the people of Israel, They are entangled in the land, and the wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will pursue them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. And they did so. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, the mind of Pharaoh and his servants was changed towards the people. And they said, What is this we have done, that we have let the people of Israel go from serving us 
So he made ready his chariot and took his army with him and took 600 picked chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued the people of Israel as they went forth defiantly. The Egyptians pursued them, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and his horsemen and his army, and overtook them as they encamped by the sea, by Piha Heroth, in front of Baal Zephon. When Pharaoh drew near, the people of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they were in great fear. And the people of Israel cried out to the Lord, and they said to Moses, Is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us in bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not what we said to you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians who you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be still. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the people of Israel may go on dry ground through the sea. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the angel of God who went before the host of Israel moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them coming between the hosts of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was a cloud and darkness, and the night passed without one coming near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove back the sea by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning watch, the Lord in a pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the hosts of the Egyptians and discomforted the hosts of the Egyptians, clogging their chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched his hand out over the sea and the sea returned to its wonted flow when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled into it. And the Lord routed the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea not so much as one of them remained. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord, and they believed the Lord and in his servant Moses. Chapter 15. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts he cast into the sea, and he picked officers sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down to the depths like a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. 
In the greatness of thy majesty, thou overthrowest thine adversaries. Thou sendest forth thy fury, it consumes them like stubble. At the blast of thy nostrils, the waters piled up. The flood stood up in a heap, the depths congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My desire shall have its fill with them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them, they sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, majestic in holiness, terrible in glorious deeds, doing wonders? Thou didst stretch out thy right hand, the earth swallowed them. Thou hast led in thy steadfast love the people whom thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them by thy strength into thy holy abode. The peoples have heard, they trembled. Pangs have seized on the inhabitants of Philistia. Now are the chiefs of Edom dismayed. The leaders of Moab trembling seizes them. All the inhabitants of Cana have melted away. Terror and dread fall upon them because of the greatness of thy arm. They are as still as a stone. Till thy people, O Lord, pass by. Till thy people pass by who thou hast purchased. Thou wilt bring them in and plant them on thine own mountain. The place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thy abode, the sanctuary, O God, which thy hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. For when the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his horsemen went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the midst of the sea. Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out with her with timbrels and dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Then Moses led Israel onward from the Red Sea. And they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Mara, they could not drink the water of Mara because it was bitter. Therefore, it was named Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, and he threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statue and an ordinance, and there he proved them, saying, If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and do that which is right in his eyes, and give heed to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon you which I put upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord your healer. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they encamped there by the water. That ends our reading for today. May God bless you by his word and enlighten you by his spirit. Thanks.